or the deep sea oracle of football. Paul the Octopus is proving quite the pundit, correctly predicting the winner of each match. Unfortunately for England fans, likes the taste of Germany. Well, that's one way to make a wager. Another is to consult our superfans. Producer of uh, documentary Soccer Africa, Simon Laub, joins me on set with his wrap of the week. He's tipping the Brazilians. I don't know if we can just uh, remind ourselves uh, who all of us were tipping, uh, Simon included. Uh, I was... Uh, well, I pulled Switzerland out of the hat, so I'm out already. But I was tipping uh, Tevez for the golden boot. Let's see if we can bring up uh, a little graphic for you to show us uh, uh, what Simon and Baff were tipping. Baff was tipping Brazil. All right, and he, and he admits to that. Then he was tipping um, Van Persie for the golden boot. Now he's changed his mind yeah. all of a sudden. Let's bring up what Baff... If we got it there, we'll bring up what Baff was tipping. What were you tipping? Um, <coughs> I went for Spain and David Villa, who I'm very happy with and I, mm. I'm sticking to. No changing from me, so Baff, sort it out. All right, let's uh, take a look at that Spain game, shall we? Because... We've been talking about old Europe. I mean, they really haven't performed as well as we might have expected. Spain, though, getting through tonight. Good game. Yeah, they did. Um, I think that, that it's been, you know, for me personally, it's been fascinating. It's been exciting. Um, you know, we've we've talked about the old Europe, and I think I think it's very interesting to note that you know France were knocked out by little Bafana Bafana, um, and Italy were knocked out by Slovakia, and, and, and I think it's really encouraging for the world game. I've got some tweets here. Shafuru says, no European country has ever won the World Cup outside of Europe. They can't adapt to foreign cultural phenomenon like the Vuvuzela. Uh, he says, uh, autogenitive says, countries are putting more resources into their football clubs and playing with heart and not to protect their status. I'm not sure about that. What do you put this wane of old European football down to yourself? Um, I, I have a slightly different take than perhaps um, a few other people. I, I truly believe that what we've seen in this World Cup is that there are no easy games mm. anymore. You know, the difference between the best team in the World Cup and the worst team who's qualified has shrunk vastly. Mm. And, and like I was saying before, I think it's really encouraging mm. for world football and for the fans. You know, no one likes to see the favourites win every single time. Mm. It's interesting and, and we'll see some. Oh, I'd love to see Argentina win only because it's been an absolute joy to watch Maradona legging it up and down. I mean, he loves the game. He loves the game. Give me a bet on uh, England, Germany. Just let's be partisan for the moment. Um, England, Germany, partisan, Sunday. Partisan, I'm going to say England. <laughs> and uh, if I'm not being partisan, I'll probably say England. But the reality <laughs> is that it's going to be a very tight game. Right. It's going to be tough. We know about the history. And, right, and uh, will it go to pens? That's the point, because the history is penalties, of course, and we lose. I hope tough. not. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I have a feeling that it won't. Oh, you're so we'll optimistic. See. We'll oh, see. Oh, good luck. Uh, Simon's with you. Baff was uh, in Switzerland for us tonight. They're your super fans. We will be right back. Thank you, Simon. Pleasure.